That's just to me. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, and, and so this is why I want to transition to the title of the video. You know what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of box, a lot of fighters, and a lot of fight fans mad because Jake Paul is coming out here. You know what I'm saying? Main event, selling more pay per views, and making more noise, right? And this is why. And, 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 and see, a lot of people mad about that shit, right? But this is why he's outshining your favorite boxer. Jake Paul, this is why Jake Paul and these YouTube dudes is outshining your favorite boxer. And I'm going to get into that right now, right? Because I know a lot of fighters are mad about this shit because they feel like, you know, we've been training our whole life. And now the whole world is tuning into YouTube stars and, 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 and shit, you know, trying to take over boxing and, and, and getting more pay-per-views, right? Get more light on their events than we are. And see, you you mad in, in the boxing fans. Some boxing fans are mad. And I see a lot of people hating on Jake Paul talking about, oh, and, and you know, we, we know he went out there and he got a spectacular first round knockout. You know what I'm saying? He went out there and he fought a former MMA champion. So it wasn't like this dude wasn't a combat sports champion himself before. And Jake Paul got him up out of there. Now, Jake Paul, he takes boxing serious when he trains. He trains hard. He takes it serious, right? Uh, we've talked about that. I told y'all that he was going to go out there and get Ben Askren uh, uh, ass whooping. I told you he's going to beat Ben Askren ass. Uh, ben Askren is not a stand-up guy. He ain't got no hands like that. Uh, and y'all seen that early on. Jake Paul went out there and he did his thing. And he showed out. And the thing is, he... Um, he went out there and made more noise than anybody on the card for the second time in a row. And see, this is the problem why a lot of y'all mad at Jake Paul and hating on him. I can't hate on him. He out there, he going out there, getting his bag. He talks shit. Y'all like, oh, well, look at the level of competition he fight. He not fighting top. The motherfucker's not a boxer. He's not a professional boxer, right? Yeah. And then y'all talking about the competition level. Well, who the fuck you want him to fight? Um, I mean, when when you a lot of y'all boxers ain't fighting the competition level that they supposed to be fighting. He fighting the same level of competition that most fighters are fighting when they coming up through the ranks. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? He fighting the same level of competition that most of y'all fighters, most of these fighters, when they coming up through the ranks, they fighting that level of competition. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's an MMA dude or, or, or not, right? But the thing is, the reason he making more noise and a lot of y'all motherfuckers is mad is because he is actually, right? He actually out here saying who he going to fight and making the fights. Your favorite fighters are not making these fights. We come on here talking about these big mega fights. But you motherfucking fighters, y'all ain't fighting each other. That's why. These MMA guys and these motherfucking YouTube stars are able to come into the sport and sell more pay-per-views, right? And do this shit and be talked about. Because in boxing, the biggest fights that we want to see, the fans are not able to see it. If y'all motherfuckers were fighting each other, y'all wouldn't have, it wouldn't be no room for these YouTube stars and, and in, in, in these uh, UFC fighters and, and celebrities to go out there and make these big bags. It would not be no room for that shit, right? Right? It wouldn't be no room for that shit. But y'all make room for it because all we can do is come out here and beg and talk about these big fights in boxing that never happened while y'all sitting around fucking, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever the fuck y'all do not fighting each other, right? Y'all not fighting each other. So you making room for these dudes to come in there. If boxing gave us the fights that the fans want to see, if y'all fighters went out there and actually fought each other, if y'all promoters got off of that bullshit, right? If all of that, we got the fights as boxing fans, right? The fan base of boxing would grow. Right? It will continue to grow because big fights, people are going to talk about big fights. 
right? Whether you are a huge boxing fan, a diehard or not, when it's a big fight, they're going to promote it on ESPN, Fox. It's going to be talked about. The fan that's not interested in boxing like that, they're going to get interested in making the big fights is going to bring new um, fans to the sport. But you're not making it. So us on here talking about these fucking fights, all that shit is just a fantasy because we ain't getting none of them. We're not getting none of these fights, right? Uh, none of these big fights. So we're talking about it, but we ain't getting none of that shit. So you leaving the door wide open for dudes like Jake Paul and all of that to come in, right, and showcase and get a bag, right? Now, now the attention of the fans that that's you know um could be following new fans that could be following boxing it's all on jake paul and celebrities and shit because you motherfuckers ain't fighting so before you before you you fans start crying about it oh this is this is a disgrace and this and that look at your favorite fighter right before these fighters start complaining about that shit look in the mirror and ask yourself could I be doing more? Could I be fighting the best of the best? And these promoters got to do the same shit. So that's the reason why Jake Paul and all these guys are able to come over and get a big bag and sell more pay-per-views. Because your favorite fighter is doing what the fuck he's supposed to do to make the big fights. And that's just what it is. You know? Um, and let me let me get through some of these comments. Um. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Chris Mitchell, he say 100% facts on that uh, on the top uh, boxers not fighting each other. Yeah, man. So it's like. What you what y'all the fucking expect? Y'all sit around crying about, oh, you ain't fighting this guy and this guy don't deserve this. And this, you know what I'm saying? Y'all sit around making a million excuses not to fight each other, and then you know what I'm saying, mad or 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 wonder why these dudes is able to come in the sport and bust that bitch wide open. Uh D Great throwing the towel said, Bud and Spence, Charlo Canella, we've been waiting for we've been waiting for a whole lot of big fights that's not happening all we do is come on here and talk about this shit like it's a fucking fantasy you know what i'm saying um that's just what it is man uh you go ahead and uh cook you know cook on that money yeah man i like i wish i agree with 100 percent. like you can't knock that man for coming in you know bringing his fan base in selling 1.5 you know Y'all not talking shit. Y'all not giving excitement. Y'all not putting yourself out there. Jake Paul know what he's doing. Jake Paul going at Mayweather. Jake Paul going at Canelo. Jake Paul going at Conor McGregor. Jake Paul going at any motherfucker that, that got some substance. And he's not just doing it. He's doing it consistently, bro. He's doing it consistently. You know what I'm saying? He's talking his shit. That motherfucker drinking liquor on television. Like, he he got the YouTube crowd, bro. He already got a fan base. You know what I'm saying? He already got a fan base. Dude got, like... 30, 30 million followers and on fucking, you know, um on the social media. So of course, when, when you're that big and you talking, you're talking in and you're growing, those numbers you gonna do. Those numbers you gonna do. Like I say, it's entertainment at the end of the day, bro. He's entertaining. That's what he's doing. He's entertaining and he can fight. It ain't like he just no push over, like he ain't got no skills, like he just going in there, going balls to the wall. Dude actually got some skills, bro. Like I said, kept I mean, sorry, um, Corey Spinks told me that. He said he watched him score. Say he just ain't got no defense. Even Zab Judah said he can fight. Like Zab say, I'm not just sort of blow no damn smoke. Dude can fight. You know, and like he 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 trying to put himself in position to be the best fighter he can be. You know, but his troll game, his mouthpiece, you know, his performances, they all add up, bro. They all add up. And like you say, Keith, for, for you fighters to get out here and try to criticize him. You motherfuckers need to be taking a play. I mean, a note out his playbook, even though you know it's the same shit Floyd and Connor be doing. But it's working for him. It don't work for everybody, but it's working for him. You know. So at the end of the day, bro, I'm not gonna knock him. You know, he doing what he's supposed to do to get ahead. You feel me? He he's still getting in the ring, knocking motherfuckers out. Whether we want to say we like it or not, 
he knocking their ass out. That's what I say. And, and you got to respect it, bro. You got to respect it. I can't take nothing away from the kid. The kid doing his thing, bro. He talking his shit. He living up to what he's saying, right? That's the main part right there, Keith. Living up to what he's saying. He said he going to knock his ass out. He knocked him out. He said he going to knock out Nate Robinson. Knocked his ass out. So he living up to what he's saying. And you got to respect that. You got to respect, you know, so... I'm not finna knock him for getting his bridging. I'm not finna knock no man for getting their money. You feel me? We ain't knock Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. We know they legends, right? I'm not finna knock Jay Paul for talking this shit and putting himself in position to feed his family, bro. You know? And the shit is entertaining. And I like him. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like yeah, Jay Paul. He, 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 he got more swag and motherfucking charisma to him than, than shit. 95, 98% of these fighters do. Uh-huh. Like, I, I like him, bro. I actually like him, bro. Like, for real. Like, he, he, he talk his shit, bro. And he ain't he ain't begging down from nobody, bro. He's not begging down from nobody. You hear me? So, respect to him. I'm not going to shit on him on like you. I ain't hating on him. So, you, you motherfuckers not fighting each other. So, when, when y'all get to fighting each other, we'll see y'all numbers rise up. You know, we'll see y'all numbers rise up. But right now, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't want boxing going in this direction. I like it as an entertainment purpose, you know? And I respect it. I bought the pay-per-view. You feel me? I respect it. I respect it. But I just don't want to see fighters running over there and shit, you know, having these little fights trying to get a big-ass bag because it's Triller and they need motherfuckers on the court. You feel me? Now, you motherfuckers stand in this boxing room and do what y'all supposed to do for us hardcore fans and let the entertainment shit be that entertainment shit. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, dog, it's entertainment. Triller know what they're doing. For us, for us, entertaining. That's why I say they were entertaining. But for us, the fights in the boxing, I don't, don't want to see boxing going in that, in that direction. But I'm not for the hate on that kid, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, and the thing is, is we none of us want to see boxing going that direction. But if y'all motherfuckers keep sitting around, you know what I'm saying, looking crazy in the face and, and, and making all types of excuses not to fight the next best best man next to you. Boxing might go in that direction, right? It might go in that direction because think about this. If we were on here right now, you know, through the upcoming, through the weeks or whatever before this happened, and we was talking about uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fight already in the works was about to happen, right? Or a Terrence Crawford and Porter fight that was already signed and, and about to happen. Or motherfucking... Uh, Tank Davis and Teofimo Lopez or a Wilder and Fury 3 or whatever, you know, just, and we could just, we, I could go on until tomorrow with big fights, right, that could happen in the sport of boxing that's not being made, right? If one of them events or a few of them events, what, right, was on the horizon, already signed, sealed, and delivered, wouldn't nobody be talking about no fucking Jake Paul, Right? That Jack Paul event wouldn't be as big. That you, them YouTubes and all of that. If y'all had been doing, like I said, like I always say, money. In 2017, boxing came out with a fucking bang. You had great, great fights, and it came up from the fucking grave because before that, boxing was in the downward trend. Um, it was hurting. 2017, they came back with a bang. Everybody was talking about boxing, and then it's just from there, you up here, and now you just keep going downhill from there, right? So, what if we had these big fights to talk about? If um, ESPN and Fox had these big fights to promote or to display on, on, on their networks and platforms, all of this YouTube shit wouldn't be. Y'all made it like this. Right, y'all made it like this, and fans have a lot to do with this bullshit too, because you're not holding your fighter to the standard that you should hold him to. When your favorite fighter come uh come on uh, come on here, you know what I'm saying, get in the ring, fight opponent after opponent after opponent, and ain't none of them nowhere near the best in his weight in his weight division, and you don't hold him to it. Right, and you just ride with that shit just because he your favorite fighter, or you like to do. That's the fucking problem. You not put no pressure on these fighters to fight the best, right? So it, it's it's the fans and the fighters. 
So you can't complain and get mad when somebody like Jake Paul is out here getting a bag. And like Money said, man, he's actually really trying to fight credible opponents. Uh, Nate Robinson had called him out, you know. Uh, I don't know how this Ben Askren shit came about, but he trying to fight uh, Conor McGregor. He been trying to fought, call out and fight Conor McGregor, you know. To me, that's a solid fight. They got they both got, you know, similar uh backgrounds in boxing. So that's a solid fight. You know, and he fuck around and get the Conor McGregor fight, that shit gonna blow up everywhere. So you boxers should be looking at that, right? And this is how I look at it, money. Is all these fighters that's out here uh making excuses why they, they why they don't want to fight the next best best fighter in their division. Um making excuses on, oh, well, he ain't fought nobody. He don't deserve this and this and that, right? They need to look at what Jake Paul and them is doing and these celebrities, right? And they need to realize, you know what? I got to do something big and I got to do something big quick, right? They better do something big and, and, and they better do something big quick because the shit that they doing, it ain't working. It ain't working. And you're going to fuck around and let these YouTube dudes surpass y'all. They're already getting higher pay-per-view numbers. So, you, you know, man, they, they got to start putting on, dog. They got to start putting on, right? Because it, it's like it, it boxing and these boxing promoters and, and, you know, these fighters, once they get to a certain level, it's like the fans don't exist no more. It's like they don't give a fuck what the fans want no more. You know what I'm saying? They getting their they little money and, and riding off and don't have no intentions on fighting the best fighters. No intentions on fighting the fight that the fans want to see them fight. And that's a problem. Uh, but, you know, that, that that's a problem, dog. Uh, but, yeah, man, what you got on that money? Yeah, bro, they got they got to get in there and put the the best versus the best, you know. And looking at Jake Paul, that one point five, if that number real, even Mayweather gonna start paying attention. You feel me? You selling one point five million pay per view buys? Shit, that's what they're looking for. You know what I mean? That's what they're looking for. So that's something you can't deny, bro. That's something you can't deny. You feel me? And when I seen that, I say, damn, is that number real? And it looking like it's real, bro. It's looking like it's real. So I'm trying to tell people, bro, when you do shit like that, you're not going nowhere, dog. You're not going nowhere. You're selling 1.5 pay-per-view buys, you're not going nowhere. So these dudes, they better start fighting now. Like you say, kid, they better start getting their ass in the ring, making these big fights happen. Making these big fights happen. Because if not, you're going to see that 1.5 and motherfuckers spending their 50 and $75 on Jake Paul and then you coming up trying to be on pay-per-view and motherfuckers ain't buying that shit. You know what I mean? So they got to make it worth it, bro. They got to make it worth it. Because Jake Paul, I don't see that kid. If, if nobody beat him, I don't see him slowing down no time soon. And I don't see him trailer stopping, trying to, you know, getting the money that they getting, bro. Putting the money behind them and, and reaping their benefits. You know, so at the end of the day, it's going to come down to boxing, getting in that motherfucker, the best fighting the best. They got to quit bullshit. You know what I mean? This is a time where everything is lining up because the, the, the divisions is coming to just the top cats fighting each other now. You know what I mean? Ain't no mandatory in the way. You motherfuckers did everything y'all need to do. And the stars is aligning up for y'all to fight each other now in 2021. You know, y'all can give us a hell of a fucking ending at the end of 2021 with the fights that's going to go on right now. So... All we're going to do is just wait and see, bro. All we're going to do is wait and see if, what, what they're going to say. If they're going to sit on the sideline, like I say, can't talk shit about this kid. Because one thing about Jake Paul, he's going to talk shit back to your ass. He's going to talk shit back. He ain't now this motherfucker just going to keep his mouth shit. If you say some shit about him, he go mean. I mean, he go troll the shit out your ass. He go mean the shit out your ass. Right. And he going to make your ass famous. And, it, and this little fan base is going to run with that shit and laugh at your ass. You know and what I'm saying? He's going to promote himself. Exactly, bro. You know how to promote themselves, bro. While the rest you of you dudes running themselves. around here, they 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 get you know too big. They don't want to do interviews, and they they too big to, to go on and do the shit that they have to to promote themselves. Then they sit back and and wonder why these motherfucking YouTube dudes is out doing. Them. 
Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. So, yeah, they, they can say what they want to say. You feel me? At the end of the day, that cat going to continue to do 1.5 or even more. Or even more. As long as you keep knocking these motherfuckers out. And Ben Astro was a former fighter. So, hey, credit to him, bro. Credit to him. Even uh, Daniel Cormier had to give him some credit. Like, God damn, motherfucker actually got some skills. He said, oh, shit, come on, man. But he, like, he actually got some skills, bro. You know, going down to the body, came with the overhand right and land that motherfucker right on top of his head and knocked his ass clean out. So, respect to him. Respect to him, bro. But I'm with you, bro. They got to start. They got to, the fighters boxing. They got to start putting themselves in position to make these big fights happen. Make these big fights happen. Because if not, like you say, keep going. Continue to get these motherfuckers, Jake Paul versus who knows next. You know what I mean? Logan Paul versus who knows next. And y'all going to see y'all money um, slide on over to them dudes. Because they're going to be going on pay-per-view. And the same much you motherfuckers going on pay-per-view. And everybody ain't going to want to buy two pay-per-views back-to-back. So y'all gonna be losing out on y'all shit. Y'all better make this shit work out wild. Feel me? Y'all better make this shit work out wild, bro. Because if if you going to that motherfucker, they put you on pay per view against some nobody, right? And then this motherfucker coming on pay per view against a former whoever, and the shit sounding appealing, and he going before you, and people know they're gonna be entertained and all this shit. Then we'll you y'all gonna see about it. Y'all gonna see about it, bro. Right, right, man. And one thing. Answer this, man. Do you? So if we, you know, I, I just basically brainstorm across, you know, big mega fights, right? That we not get. Say if we had some of those fights, right? You know, they promoted on ESPN, Fox, everywhere. Do you think that this Jake Paul and these YouTube dudes would get him attention if we did have some big fights like that, that we was talking about every day on the horizon in boxing that was already signed, sealed, and delivered? Hell no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the focus wouldn't be so much on that. But y'all not doing nothing. Right? Y'all not doing nothing. We got to come in here motherfucking debate Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence fucking split and, and what's going on with that shit a billion and fucking two times. And everybody want to hear that, but because it, it, everybody's intrigued in that shit, right? So in, in, in Tyson Fury and Wilder and all that shit, everybody's so intrigued in that shit because that's the closest that they get to a fight happening, seeing us arguing over it. And that's a damn shame. It's a, it's, it's a fucking shame, you know? Uh, but yeah, man, uh, they just need to... Fighters, man, they need to step it up, dog. They need to step it up. But I, I think you know a lot of these fighters, uh, they looking at they looking at it as they're getting paid regardless. You feel me? Like a lot of these fighters, they like fuck what the fans want to see. Shit, fuck if you want to fuck fuck fighting the best. If y'all gonna pay me big paper, you know, to fight mediocre opposition, right? And I'm gonna get paid regardless. And I can skip around and uh you know get all these belts so I can still grab me a belt because there's a million belts. Boxing fucked up. You know, boxing fucked up, but it's gonna take the best, these fighters that call themselves the best to start moving like that, man. Until then, like I said, man, this YouTube shit, it might take over these celebrities and things. Cause uh man, they, they got some big hitters behind them. Triller and then Mike Tyson, he coming with his Legends League. It, you know, it's a lot of shit going on, dog. Hell yeah, man! You miss the little rappers and shit and uh, shit like that. Like, it's it's powerful influence, bro. Like they bring their little audience over and shit like that. So, you know, people go they they influence the motherfuckers to come over and shit. And then you put on these long ass concerts, like I said, entertainment, bro. And everybody love entertainment. Entertainment always go sell. A circus show always gonna sell. So, like you say, if we had Earl Spence and Bud coming up, man, ain't nobody talking about no goddamn Jake Paul. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking Tia Fimo, Javante right. Davis, Tia Fimo, Devin Haney. Ain't nobody talking about no Jake Paul. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. Like, we getting these big fights that we looking for. We not paying attention to that shit. And we not, we saving our money for this big ass boxing match like shit, nigga. You know, for the fight this Saturday, I ain't worried about that shit. Nigga. I'm worried about this motherfucking Spencer Crawford. Like, that's where my money going to. 
But, you know, like you say, they continue to wait. This was going to happen. Uh, Mike Ryan say it ain't the fighters. The commission has to start setting standards to keep you from holding the belts hostage. He says a uh, champion must fight a champion at least once a year. Yeah, and, and that's a, that's why I said boxing overall, it is they got a lot to do with the fighters. It got a lot to do with the promoters and the commission. So boxing overall, but at the end of the day, the fighters are in control. If the fighters stood studded up on their motherfucking nuts, right? They are the product. You feel what I'm saying? They are the ones that fans come to see and watch. People don't come to see the fucking commissioner or the promoter. They can take control of that shit if they really wanted to. You see what I'm saying? They can take control of that shit if they really wanted to. Um. But, you know, man, it, it's just a fucked up situation. So you can't get mad at, at Jake Paul and, and um, Logan Paul and KSI and, you know what I'm saying, fucking Bosco 100 or whatever. You know, all these dudes coming in. They left the door open. They left the door open because they kept pussyfooting around and bullshitting. So the fighters in boxing left the door wide open. Um, so man, you dig, you dig what I'm saying? If they didn't, like I said, like me and money, like I said, and money agreed, hey, if they was making the best mega fights, like everybody wanted to see, the door wouldn't be open. It wouldn't be no room for them. And if they tried to do what they're doing, nobody would be paying attention to that shit. Yeah. Right. And that's just it. Like in the seventies and the nineties, that shit wouldn't have stood. You know why money? Why they couldn't have done this shit? Well, it wasn't no YouTube and none of that shit. But besides the fact, you know what I'm saying? Why say uh who say a fucking goddamn Sylvester Stallone against fucking um uh, Schwarzenegger, John Clyde Van Damme? You know what I'm saying? They could have tried to fight celebrity fight against each other in the '90s and like that, right? But it wouldn't have fucking, it wouldn't have held no way. People would have just laughed at that shit and wouldn't really be paying attention to it because you were getting what you wanted. You see what I'm saying? You was already full. If I'm hungry, feed me. You feel what I'm saying? So in the 80s and 90s, you that shit wouldn't have, this shit that's going down right here, it wouldn't have held no weight because we was already getting what we wanted to see. Right, we was already full off of what we wanted to see, and when we was hungry, they'll come feed you some more. Now we ain't getting nothing. All we doing is talking about the shit, and that's why. So you know we can't get mad at it. We just gotta sit back, um, accept it for what it is, and realize why it is what it is and why it's going on, and uh. Randall Bivens says, uh, Key, he said, you have a point. If boxers use numbers of, fo of followers to justify not be not boxing someone, then fighting Jake wouldn't be too bad of a move, right? Exactly. Jake has one million strong. He, uh, he got way more than that. He got way more followers than that. But, yeah, and then they do that also, money. Like, they, they use – the fucking person's Instagram followers or, 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 you know what I'm saying? Uh, social media following to make excuses on why they not going to fight, you know, the next best guy and all of that dumb shit, dog. Like, man, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's a fucking joke. Um, uh, you know, Todd Swindler said, fuck around and Spence and Crawford be on the undercard of Jake Paul fight. Nah, see that, but see, this is the problem. If a Spence and Crawford fight was made, wouldn't nobody give a fuck about no Jake Paul fight? Because the whole everybody that's a boxing fan, from the diehards to the casuals to the people that just watch boxing every now and then, their focus would be on Spence and Crawford. When you turn on Fox Sports events, undisputed. Um, all the other spot Fox sports events, 
they will be talking about Spence and Crawford. When you turn to ESPN, Sports Center, uh, fucking First Take, and all them shows, they would be talking about Errol Spence and Crawford fighting. Um, YouTube, everybody on YouTube would be talking about Errol Spence and Crawford fighting. So Jake Paul fighting somebody wouldn't have no light on it. They would he would have to use strictly his YouTube fan base. That's all because would nobody else care about that shit. But that's why we are talking about Jake Paul. That's why when you go to boxing channels, they're talking about Jake Paul, what he did on Saturday. It ain't because fucking they had a Regis Pro Gray and Ivan Red catch on that shit. It's because of that's what everybody talking about. You know what I'm saying? They left the door open and he came and walked through it. You you know what I'm saying? If you leave your front door open, you can't get mad at somebody walking through it. Um, and that's just what it is. Like I said, man, if we got these big fights, the light wouldn't be on this uh triller celebrity stuff. And these fighters are seeing that. Now these fighters are trying to go over the triller and get a bag. But the problem is, right, it, the, the problem is I don't want to see Triller start giving these fighters these bags just to come on their platform and fight. If you're going to give them a bag, I want them to make it uh, strict. Okay, if you give us this fight that we want to see, we'll give y'all a big bag and y'all can come over to Triller. But don't come over here just trying to get a big bag for fighting nobody. Because that's gonna fucking be a problem. You feel what I'm saying? If they if they do that and they continue to accept that on Triller, that's gonna make a bigger problem in boxing. So all the fighters gonna see that. And the way these fighters are built nowadays, they run into the money. They not run into no smoke. They gonna go over the Triller because they know they can get a big bag in the easy fight. So they need to draw the line somewhere. Um, and you, you go ahead, money. Damn, Valentine shit. in the building, salute. You hitting everything on the head, shit. You hitting everything on the head, bro. Just don't come down to the ass. Understanding what is what. You know what I mean? Y'all want to protect the sport. Y'all saying they making a mockery of the sport. Well, do something about it. Do something about it. You feel me? And the only way to do something about it, like you're saying, if y'all get in that motherfucker and put the best versus the best, that make people shy away from their ass. But other than that, like I say, this shit gonna continue to happen, dog. They fan base getting bigger and bigger. It's growing, it's growing. Look at me, motherfuckers watching that shit, dog. I'm talking on a celebrity standpoint. Look at yeah. I me, mean, motherfuckers dropping little clips on what Jake Paul done. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that shit is catchy, bro. It's entertaining, like I say, and everybody love entertainment. Like you had Tony Harrison, the real fighter, fighter, former champion, fighting on the same day as Jake Paul. He smoked his ass. Smoke right. one even close pay per view, right, right. too. You know what I'm saying? It's like that, that's what it's coming to, bro. And, it, and that's the fucked up situation. But if you had a, like you say, a, a real fight that had our attention, right? Of course, Jake Paul still gonna do what he do, and a couple of kids gonna be bound, but not the real hardcore boxing fans. We ain't gonna be over there for that shit. And, and another, thing, money, another uh -huh. thing money is when they do put on pay per views. Stop putting on fucking one decent fight on the main event and then a fucking undercard worth of bullshit. Exactly. You see what bro. I'm saying? Like, and, and, and now the people that's tuning in, the new people that's tuning in and buying these events, they having to fucking sit through a, a whole night of fucking bullshit, right? And then by the time the main event come, they already talking shit about boxing. They're already exhausted. Like, this is boxing? Like, this is why we don't watch boxing. This is why I'd much rather watch UFC. Because they sat through fucking three hours of bullshit before they got to the main event. And they, you know what I'm saying? They didn't do that in the 90s, dog. They were, If they put on in the 90s and the early 2000s and the 80s, if they put on a card, it was a whole fucking fight card if they made you pay for it. You, see, you feel what I'm saying? So put a Tony Harrison on the undercard of an Aero Spence. Um, you know, make the whole make the car the whole car interesting. If you making people pay for some shit, don't make you don't make people pay for a bunch of bullshit and then one decent fight at the end. 
if it's pay-per-view, make a motherfucking pay-per-view card. Otherwise, say the rest of that bullshit for regular TV. Straight up. Look at a UFC card. I know you don't follow UFC like that, but look at a UFC card, money. If you buy a UFC event they put on pay-per-view, you get in your money's worth. Dana White is not, and I know he don't pay his fighters. It's a lot of bullshit, but he is giving the fans what they want to see. The whole card be fucking stacked. And get the card, and you be like, damn, I'm getting all this. And then you satisfied. Um, it, it's just boxing is just uh, you know, when, when you start talking about this shit, man, it just put a sour taste in my mouth. And I'm a diehard boxing fan, so just imagine how the casual fan looks at it, or the fan that's that's trying to come into boxing, but they ain't giving them nothing to fucking come in and watch. Uh Randall Bivens says, I remember Steven Seagal, Van Dam, Van, uh, yep, Van Dam wanted to fight each other, but due to our satisfaction with Tyson, De La Hoya, May, and others, uh, they wouldn't get no shine. It wasn't going to happen. Exactly, exactly. Like you said, Randall Bivens, because our focus in the, the fans and the American fans and, and everybody was so focused because they was already full, right? They was getting what they wanted. If a motherfucker's hungry, money. What do you do if you hungry? Going out to do what I got to do to eat. Yeah, you searching. If you hungry, you searching for food. It don't matter if you're sitting in the house hungry. You, you, you know you ain't got no food in the crib, right? But you sitting there fucking, you, you going back and forth through that cabinet looking. You know what I'm saying? You outside in the freezer box looking. You hungry. You searching for some shit. So a fan... That is a fan of, of combat sports. If you're not getting what you want, you searching. So motherfuckers are searching. Now they search, they searching, they found their way to the UFC. Bam. Right? They searching, they searching. Now they found their way to Triller and all this celebrity shit because you left them hungry. You ain't give them no choice. That's what it is, dog. Yeah, facts. So that's what it's gonna come down to. Y'all gotta go out there and make this shit happen. They got the power to do it. No, they got the power to do it. I don't want to hear that shit. So these dudes, like I say, it's, it's gonna continue to come, Keith, because I don't see Trigger slowing down. They got the next card coming with um um uh, Ted Fimo and who on that bitch, Holyfield and uh, another cat. I forgot who was on that. Uh, damn, I forgot who he fighting. I didn't touch that, but it's Holyfield. And, and and that core go be, I think that shit go sell. Like that a shit go sell. Yeah, you know, so they, they doing what they got to do, bro. They doing what they got to do. You know, it's entertainment. Like I keep saying, it's entertainment, 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 bro. You know, so they better, these cats better catch up. And they better catch up. Then you got Mike Tyson, like I said, money. He coming with that Legends Only League. And let me get this super chat. I appreciate uh, my man, Matthew Valentine, always showing love, man, coming in with that super chat. He says, facts. Let's let's freaking go. Yeah, we, we you know, we got to cook on this. Uh, you got Mike Tyson coming in with the Legends Only League, dog. And uh, it's crazy, man, because I've been watching his podcast, right? You know, 